Heath Ledger's father released a statement today after hearing the autopsy results, saying, quote, We remain humble as parents and a family among millions of people worldwide who may have suffered the tragic loss of a child. If you can understand the hollow, wrenching, and enduring agony parents silently suffer when a child predeceases them. Today's results put an end to speculation, but our son's beautiful spirit and enduring memory will forever remain in our hearts. Heath Ledger's unique talent put him in the hearts of millions of fans as well. Joining me now to explore Heath's life is Kim Serafin with In Touch Weekly and Joseph Capps, the deputy entertainment editor for LATimes.com. Uh, Joseph, we start with you. Uh, yes. You guys uh, online did a tribute to Heath. Uh, what's in that? Absolutely. And where do we find it? Well, what we created um, within our Hollywood um, A to Z um, topic pages, we did a wonderful tribute, you know, film retrospective. We sort of did Hollywood reacting and, you know, mourning this unfortunate passing. We, we sort of, after the reports came out and it was so surprising, we wanted to sort of put the focus more on this amazing body of work that, you know, Heath uh, has, you know, to sort of keep his fans, you know, happy and sort of keep it in a more tribute mode. Uh, Kim, the DEA is involved in this. Um, now, I guess there is a case. Uh, they are chasing down leads and trying to figure out who gave them the drugs, what's going on. Right, of course. Now there is an investigation about, you know, who prescribed these drugs. Did he have prescriptions for these drugs? Um, we know that there were six, as you discussed, six different drugs involved, prescription medications. You know, and I think his family put out the statement saying that it was accidental, you know, even in low doses. This is a, a cautionary tale, really, for anyone that even in low doses, prescription medications can be lethal. Look, because you guys both work in Hollywood just like I do. You all know people that have dozens of prescriptions just like this. It was accidental, but he did kill himself. But there are so many people here who take a pill to get up in Hollywood. They take a pill to stay up in Hollywood. They take a couple of pills to go to sleep. And it's, it really is a cautionary tale. Well, and isn't the, it? the often repeated, you know, story about Heath. Well, he told the LA Times, I took two Ambien last night because I needed to get to sleep. So, it, and that's how Ambien is really in LA. Right. I mean, and a lot of these prescription drugs, people sort of throw it off like, ah, I took two Ambien and I, I needed to get to sleep. It's and very let's face it, these people are not educated pharmacists. They get it from a doctor and they think, well, it's got to be safe. Um, since he did kill himself, it wasn't suicide, but do you think this is going to have any effect on how he's remembered, Joseph? Well, what the reports are saying, I mean, it's an accidental, obviously, drug overdose. I don't think he consciously um, did this. I think that he was, he overmedicated and the mixture of these painkillers and anti, you know, anxiety drugs. This is what killed him. Um, do I think it'll affect his career or the way that we remember him? Absolutely not. I, th I think that this body of work, this kid's 20 years old and he was on the cusp of even greater things. You know, an Oscar nominated actor. You know, he's fondly remembered. He still has an amazing role in The Absolutely. Dark Knight coming up and, and uh, maybe, maybe some other films. Um, Kim. We have uh, Michelle Williams. The, the family's made a few statements. Michelle Williams really has not. She's obviously incredibly upset. Jake right. Gyllenhaal, some of his closest friends and his ex fiance haven't really spoken out yet. Where are they and what's going on? I, I think they've probably chosen to stay silent at this point. I mean, we know that this Saturday is the funeral in Australia when Michelle Williams is going there with her daughter, with, with their daughter. Um, and, and I think people are saying it's not really appropriate right now to make statements. I mean, I'm sure eventually uh, Jake Gyllenhaal will have to say something. Somebody will ask him about it. But I think for, for now, I mean, the funeral hasn't even happened. So I think a lot of people are taking a, a step back. We know there were some memorial services that happened this week in L.A. with the family. And, and I think people are grieving right now. And to me, it almost makes it worse. It makes you mad when you find out that this was a crazy accident. It didn't have to happen. I know, I mean, you can say that about a lot of deaths, but it's like this huge talent, this huge force in Hollywood and around the world. It doesn't have to be dead. No. Well, yeah. we're, we're taking a look even at this, um, a closer look in our Sunday edition of just drugs, young Hollywood, um, you know, really exploring why is this happening, how is this happening, and how it's affecting all these younger actors in Hollywood with these prescription you know, legal, you know, lethal cocktails. Yeah. Right. And, you know, it's interesting because so many rumors were out there and, and stories that came out about, you know, was Heath addicted to this drug, this drug, was he doing this drug, was he at this party? And, you know, as it turned out, it was an accidental overdose, so. All right, Kim, Joseph, thank you guys thank very you. much. Up next, who exactly is Britney's ex-pal Sam Lutfi? And new details of what really went down inside the psych ward. And coming up, our exclusive Lipstick Jungle set visit. We've got the juiciest secrets from TV's hot new successor to Sex in the City. And we sit down with Kate 